Hello and welcome to a somewhat educational video. Today I'm going to be talking about some not so recent news in Kazakhstan, which is the change of the capital's name, which was actually prompted by a bigger event, the president's resignation. But before we begin, let's state some disclaimers so I don't die in the YouTube comments. One, if you are a Kazakh or you live in Kazakhstan, you probably know more about this news that happened than this video will provide. This is just supposed to be an overview, very brief, and not to go really deep into the topics here. Number two, I'm not an official resident of Kazakhstan and I have not been living here very long, so I'm just gonna be reporting on what I've seen from news articles and other places online. I am not going to be giving any opinion or political commentary. <laughs> Number three, please be nice to me in the comments. Please, please, please. Now let's get back to the real content. Let's look at the event that set this all off. On March 20th, 2019, Nursultan Nazarbayev signed official papers to terminate his presidency. Nazarbayev actually became president of Kazakhstan and was the first president of Kazakhstan around 1990. And he's been president for 29 years and has won every single election within that 29 year time span. One of the most memorable things he did during his presidency was move the capital of Kazakhstan. Originally it was in Almaty when Kazakhstan became its own country. And then in 1998, it was moved from Almaty to what is now Astana. Originally, the town was called Akmola, kind of. We'll get into that later. And as I said, the city was renamed Astana, which in Kazakh means capital. And Astana remained the name of the capital until very recently, and that's where some more information needs to be explained. Once Nazarbayev resigned from his presidency, the chairman of the Senate, Kasum Jomart Tokayev, I'm sorry if I said his name wrong. Please save me from the comments. He became the interim president. And on his inauguration day, or during his inauguration or after, it's kind of vague when exactly he said this, but he said that they should change the name of Astana to Nur Sultan, which is obviously Nur Sultan Nazarbayev's first name. And what do you know? A few days later, the Congress passed this suggestion and now the capital is named Nur Sultan. But how did people react to this? Some people accepted it, some people tried to sign petitions to change it, and some people protested. And the people who protested were arrested. On a side note, I was actually in Azerbaijan at this time, so I left Astana, but I never returned to Astana because when I flew back, it was now Nur Sultan. Fun fact, kind of interesting, I never came back to Astana, although I'm still in the capital. Anyways, let me get back to the facts. The funny thing is that this city has changed its names several times. So let me run you through a little bit of history. So in 1832, it was officially made a town and was named Akmolinsk. Then in 1961, it was renamed to Tislinograd and its name before Astana was Akmola. Clearly a lot of changes for a small provincial town, which is not a small provincial town anymore. <laughs> and what about the future of the president of Kazakhstan? Because the guy who's interim president is only interim, right? They have to hold elections. When the news of the resignation of Nazarbayev was first released, they said that the elections would happen in April. But when this video comes out, it's now April and there's no elections. Actually recently I got an email from the university that I work at that the elections will be held on June 9th, 2019. So in the coming months. I'm really curious of who's gonna be on that ballot and also who's gonna be elected. It's very interesting and I'll definitely be waiting for June 9th, 2019 and the results afterwards. But it's for sure that this year is and will be a very historic year for the country of Kazakhstan. And that's about all the information I have for now. You can definitely look this up more. Um, through newspapers online, but definitely they will all be biased one way or the other, especially the English ones you read, so watch out and take everything with a grain of salt, whatever way you read it. So hopefully from this video, you've learned a little bit. Um, if you already know a lot, why did, why did you watch it? But thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Uh,